Well, historic and unprecedented can be overused at times this day and age, but here's a look at the front page headlines America is waking up to this morning. Donald Trump, the Republican frontrunner, disqualified from the ballot in Colorado. It is a stunning and, yes, historic ruling that could have huge implications for the 2024 presidential election. Trump is vowing to take this case all the way to the Supreme Court just weeks before primary season kicks off. Colorado Supreme Court decided Trump cannot be on the state's primary ballot because he engaged in an insurrection. They are citing the 14th Amendment of the Constitution, which was ratified after the Civil War. The justices on the high court, a majority of them deciding that Trump directly participated in the plot to stop the peaceful transfer of power on January 6th. Well, Trump didn't waste any time fundraising off the ruling. It was about 12 minutes after the news alerts hit his campaign, blasting out emails, asking for money, accusing Democrats of trying to keep Trump off the ballot to prevent him from beating President Biden. We have team coverage of the courthouse in Denver to the campaign trail in Iowa, along with expert legal analysis. Let's start off in Colorado with Lucy Kavanaugh outside of Colorado Supreme Court. Lucy, what's the feeling on the ground right now in the wake of this really, really stunning moment? I don't think anyone expected this, Phil and Poppy. The, the reaction here, surprising, remarkable, unprecedented, and the judges acknowledging that at the top of their opinion, writing about the uh, weight and magnitude of this decision to disqualify and bar Donald Trump from the Colorado primary. And even though this only impacts the state of Colorado, the implications could be national. Former President Donald Trump kicked off the 2024 primary ballot in Colorado. We've never had a president inside an insurrection and then try to run for the presidency again. In an unprecedented decision Tuesday, the Colorado Supreme Court ruled that Trump is disqualified due to his actions on January 6th, citing Section 3 of the 14th Amendment, which bars anyone who, quote, engaged in insurrection to run for office. The court writing, we do not reach these conclusions lightly. We are mindful of the magnitude and weight of the questions now before us. We think this is an absurd ruling. And we're Colorado Republican Party Chair Dave Williams slamming the decision. Donald Trump has not been charged nor convicted of insurrection, and we shouldn't be making these types of decisions that take away people's right to vote. The Trump campaign vowing a swift appeal, saying we have full confidence that the U.S. Supreme Court will quickly rule in our favor and finally put an end to these un-American lawsuits. Colorado Secretary of State Jenna Griswold. And I, of course, will follow whatever court order or decision is in place by the time that we certify the ballot. On the campaign trail, Trump's GOP rivals appearing to back him in denouncing the court's decision. I do not believe Donald Trump should be prevented from being president of the United States by any court. I think he should be prevented from being president of the United States by the voters of this country. We don't need to have judges making these decisions. We need voters to have make these decisions. And Florida Governor Ron DeSantis calling it abuse of judicial power and calling on the Supreme Court to reverse it. Voters in Colorado offering mixed opinions. I mean, that's great. He's a crook, so good riddance. I think court cannot decide who I'm voting for. So because it's my own decision, it's not the court's uh, decision who I'm voting for. Now, Poppy, it is very important to stress that this is not the final word. The Supreme Court here staying its decision until January 4th to allow uh, the Trump team to appeal. And of course, the Trump team already vowing to take this to the highest court in the land. Poppy? Lucy, thank you very much for that reporting on the ground.